Hello friends, in today's video, we shall see into an introduction to the theory of games. Game theory was put forward by mathematician John von Neumann and economist Oscar Morgenstern in 1944 in their work Theory of Games and Economic Behavior. Game theory is the process of modeling the strategic interaction between two or more players in a situation containing a set of rules and outcomes. It simply means when two players interact with each other, like say for instance in the case of chess, and the outcome of the chess or the outcome of that game is determined by the actions of both the players. Here an important thing to be noted is that the players or the decision makers in game theory are assumed to be rational. So game theory basically serves as a model of an interactive situation among rational players. It is an attempt from the part of the players to determine a set of logical actions or to display a set of logical actions so that each player can secure the best possible outcome for themselves from the games. Game theory is used in a wide number of disciplines and when it comes to economics, game theory is basically used as a tool to determine the strategic interaction between two or more firms or consumers or any economic agents. For example, price competition among firms or consumers bidding against each other at an auction for a piece of art or painting. So in the case of firms competing for setting prices, the strategy might be that one firm will keep his price high as long as his competitors do the same. And once the competitor lowers his price, the other firm will also think about lowering his price even more. So that is a strategy that the firms are planning about. So here a strategy is a rule or a plan of action for playing the game. Similarly, in the case of consumers bidding for a piece of art in an auction, a consumer who is serious about winning will make the first bid so as to convince others that he is serious about winning that painting. And he will be thinking about dropping out if the other bidders push the price above the price set by the consumer in his mind. Say for instance, if the consumer is ready to pay up to 50,000 rupees for that piece of painting and he initially starts his bidding by quoting 20,000 so that he displays to other bidders that he is serious about winning by quoting such a high price in the initial bidding itself. But if the other bidders are more serious than him and if the other bidders pushes the price above 50,000 rupees, then that consumer will drop out from the auction. So in the examples of firms and consumers, we can see that both firms and consumers are having their own strategy. They are moving strategically like, like their actions are based on their opponents or rivals' actions. So here the firms and the consumers such strategic decisions result in payoffs to the players. So what do you mean by a payoff? A payoff is the outcome that generate rewards or benefits. It simply means the value associated with a possible outcome. It can be in quantitative terms or it can be in subjective terms such as utility. That is the satisfaction that one receives from the possible outcome. So the optimal strategy for a player will be the one that maximizes the expected payoff. It means a player will opt for that strategy which maximizes that player's expected payoff that is the expected benefits or the rewards or the outcomes that the player is expected to receive. So here in the case of the firms who are competing for setting prices, the payoffs will be profits for them. Whereas in the case of uh, the bidders or the consumers at the auction, the winner's payoff will be his or her consumer's surplus. We know what consumer surplus is. It is a difference between the consumer's willingness to pay and what he or she actually pays for a particular product. So that difference is called consumer surplus and it can be positive, negative or even zero. An important assumption in game theory made is that the players are rational. But in real life, we can see that players or competitors might be irrational as well. But explaining game theory with irrational behavior of each and every economic agent would be a complex and difficult task. So that is why the assumption of rationality is considered in game theory. Game theory is applied in a wide array of disciplines. We can see the use of game theory in economics obviously, in business, biology, computer science, political science, psychology, philosophy, mathematics, etc. Economists mainly use game theory to understand the rational behavior among different economic agents. Game theory is also widely used in political affairs, which focuses on the areas of international politics, war strategy, or even war bargaining, voting, etc. 
Game theory is even used as a useful tool for research on terrorism because it captures the interaction between the attacked subject and the terrorist organization because both are interdependent in nature. But the biggest issue with the game theory is its assumption of the rationality itself that consumers are rational. Sometimes the players can be irrational and that makes the situation more complex to handle. In such cases game theory can be applied only to a certain extent and also game theory provides only a general rule of logic like it doesn't provide any winning strategy and all rather it just provides a rule of logic like if the player adopts this particular strategy there is a higher chance of winning or there is a higher chance of getting a maximum payoff from that strategy that's all so this is another issue in game theory So to sum up game theory is an attempt to determine logically the actions that the players should take up in order to secure the best outcomes for themselves but since game theory assumes rationality of players its applications has got some limitations hope you all have got a brief idea about what the game theory is all about if you like the video do subscribe to my channel and share the video thank you